We are all the way in Napanee, Indiana, which is a beautiful area. It's definitely Amish country. Um, it's a little bit of an overcast day today and chilly, so we're actually throwing some sweatshirts on. <laughs> but we're going to visit our friends at Gen Y. And we've been really excited to put this video together because as we prepared for Valerie, the beautiful Alliance toy hauler that we have, <laughs> we knew that there was a lot of, um, I don't know if you call it chatter or momentum or technically what you call it, but there's a lot of people that have been uh, rocking these gooseneck setups when towing. And so I have been talking to people left and right as we've been preparing and just learning more about it and why you would do it and just, you know, all the considerations around it. And ultimately, I'm really excited uh, because we reached out to Gen Y um, a few weeks ago and basically just said, hey, we want to try this out. We want to see what this is all about and be able to give our audience some unbiased feedback. And that's what we're headed to do. So let's get over there and we'll show you what it's all about. Hi! You guys wanna go meet some new friends? <laughs> Always! Huh? Got crazy and lazy here. <laughs> Mav is crazy, Nash is lazy. <laughs> Three! It is so cold today. Sean made fun of me for putting a vest on and I go, I'm gonna need I mean, more. it is still September. I'm so cold, it's 55. It's a thin vest, okay? Well, hello. Uh, Nash, you can say hi. Good boy. Nash so, is like, Mav gets all the glory Maverick, now. Nash is like, you can come to me when you're done playing with Nash, go say hi, buddy. Right come on. here. Go say hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, These guys are crazy. Us. Okay, so we are going to do the install right over here. So we've got to obviously get this up off the truck first. So I'm just going to use our auto level system here to do that. Pretty easy to take this off. We're just using a impact yeah, wrench. This and then, is easy though. Yep. Really and just a regular easy. wrench. Yeah. These are real easy though. What was the size bolt on that? Uh five eighths. Okay. Takes 15 sixteenths wrench. And this forklift is obviously pretty helpful too. Yes. <laughs> Once yeah, it I, drops. <laughs> we use the forklift all the time. That's I actually installed the other one pretty much by myself this morning. Oh, that's awesome. Just use a forklift and you can get a lot of it. Yeah. this when this brace is in here yep it does make it it, it can make it a little tighter because there's no forgiveness oh, there right and so for it to slide up in there yeah is a little tough sometimes it's, yeah yeah it's definitely yeah, okay okay so what would you recommend for somebody who doesn't have a forklift <laughs> uh, so multiple people two, two big strong guys <laughs> yeah two big strong guys and uh, sometimes sometimes they'll put the the, the pin box yep They'll actually hook it up to the ball of the truck and then they'll jack up uh, okay. the RV up and down. Okay, okay. That'll give the leverage. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, so you're basically just like oscillating yeah. back and forth. Yep. Otherwise, you're just going to struggle with yeah. this way you can get leverage. Yeah. So I gotta know too because one of the things that I noticed initially is the cross on the side. Yep. So can you give me some yeah, history so, on that and why you guys do it? So a lot of people ask about the cross and it's kind of, um, we did it for the, the safety chain. Yeah. But really uh, a lot of people think it's because of what we believe and, and you know that we're a Christian based company. Um, so it's kind of cool. It's We didn't originally design it for that purpose but we uh, it kind of kind of does what it what we wanted it to do yeah. and uh, plus it gives us that cross so it's cool but yeah once we have the everything installed i'll show you what the chain will do and how easy it is to adjust
Okay, so what's really cool is we literally went from a really big fifth wheel hitch to these safety chain holders and then this ball. And it all fits in this little, uh, what do you call it, briefcase? Carrying case. <laughs> Which is so cool. So to put these in, when you have this puck system, I can get my fingernails under there. Might have a screwdriver. Are you a screwdriver? Oh, no, it's coming. There we go. Okay, so this pops out. This little deal has a quarter turn to it. Drop that in. Twist it. Drop it down. So that's fully secure. And then when the when the pin box sits on top of this, this can't pop up. So it won't come out when you're towing. And then same deal with these guys. So I think the coolest part about this is we get our bed back. So when we're not towing, which we've slowed down travel quite a bit, so that's rather frequent that we're not towing, we're able to use our full bed. Which is so nice now that we have two puppies. Yeah. And that's it. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Cool. So am I good? I know. I'll, uh, okay, I'll, I'll watch, watch the tailgate. Okay, cool. Yep. And will I clear the ball? Uh, mm -hmm. Give it up. Uh, put it up a little bit more, Billy. That's the full extension. Right okay. There. Oh, oh. Oh. Pull up just a touch. That's good. Okay, good. Yeah, I would, uh, once you're in, and then uh -huh. close up the tailgate would probably be best. Yeah, I think okay. that's a good idea. Because it's, it's literally, yeah. if you're not straight in. Yeah. Um, so I was just telling uh, Christina, it'd probably be good to have the tailgate closed up. Okay. Once you're in. Once you're in, close yep, it. That's, that way, a good that's a good idea. That way you're not... Uh, depending on just yeah. Yeah. Hit this. Is that a common thing that people do as our rears? I, I don't know that it's common. I know it's a thing like okay. some people do that. Okay. So yeah, that's a good tip. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think no unnecessary that. stress. Yeah, don't exactly. Do that. Exactly. Yeah, just hit me yep. oh. It'll take just a second. There we go. So do we need to do anything with the latch at all? The lever? No. Or it's all automatic? Yeah, it'll cool. automatically okay. open and close again. Wow. So that's in right there. That's it? Wow. That's long. Wow. Okay, so you just wait for the click then. Yep. Is, there, is there anything else like, like the arm will just open visually up. that you're looking for? Um, no, that's it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of funny, and I knew this in research, but I forgot to put it on my shopping list. So I was all excited because I got the ball and the two safety chain holders for the bed, but I forgot the safety chains. <laughs> so one note is that with this kind of a setup, it's federal law, right? Yep. So federal law, the DOT, Department of Transportation, says that you have to have safety chains. And do you know the reason? Yeah, so any, so anything with a ball, okay. um, I don't know the in-depth reason, but anything that um, you're towing with a ball, in the bed of your truck, you need safety chains. Okay. And you don't have to buy the chains from us. You can buy it from uh, anywhere there, where they have those kind of um, rated chains. Okay. You can buy them at towing places or accessories. Okay but we definitely have them here for you guys. Who would have known? Just, yeah, uh, yeah, it just feeds through. How that works. Yep. But the cross is, yeah, kind of catches everybody's eye. And so then you're saying what, what people will do is mount this, like? Um, they'll actually, sometimes, um, they'll just run a little eyelet somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, but as you can see, you could, when you pulled on it, it didn't it didn't pull that hard. Right, so right. it's kind of up to you. Easy. Um, the torsion flex technology is really what uh, put Genway on the map and which is what you have in your pin box. Okay. And people ask us, what is torsion flex? And it's really the same technology that they have in the torsion axles. Okay. So Dexter first came out with torsion axle 50 years ago. Yep. And that same technology is in our hitch, uh, you know, bumper pull, gooseneck, and then up to the executive, which is our torsion flex pin box. Okay. We offer our torsion flex pin box in a kingpin, which is a standard pin, pin pin connection. Yep. We also have the fifth abuser, which is what you guys yep. have. Yep. And so you get really two benefits with that. Um, first and foremost, people look at that probably because they want to clear their bed of the fifth wheel plate. They want to open up their bed space. Yep. And But the benefit is really that you not only open your bed space, but you're going to get, get a more comfortable ride. 
So we've had, actually we had reports of, of people saving up to three miles a gallon. Oh, what? Yeah. So, there's, so there's fuel savings too. There's fuel savings as well. Wow. Decreased tire wear. Wow. And uh, so again, it's people that, you know, customers, yeah. customer feedback right, coming back right. to us. We haven't right. done any studies, um, but up to three miles. More commonly wow. one to two miles a gallon. Okay. So you'll, I'm curious to see what you guys yeah, think. Not I, only is it the ride quality, <laughs> Um, but also, you know, are you going to see an increase in, in gas mileage, uh, decrease in tire wear? You probably won't see the tire wear as much as like the people that do um, over the road hot shot. Yeah, you know, the hot yeah, shot, right. Uh, Just bomb towing. runs. Yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah. Um, but, and then the other thing is that the brake, you asked me about the braking period. So it's a thousand miles. Okay. So once you have driven about a thousand mi towing miles with yep, it, yep. with the pin box on your, on your bed and you're towing with it, I would say that about a thousand miles, you're going to see it settle down just slightly, okay. and that's when you're going to get the hundred percent benefit. Okay. Is there anything that we need to do or watch out for the maintenance side of things? Oh. Whether keeping keeping the ball clean. Is there any lube? Like, what do you need to do? So, great question, Sean. As far as maintenance, hundred percent maintenance free. Okay. The only thing, like you asked about the ball. Yep. Keep grease on the ball. Okay. That's just the standard. Just standard like ball grease. But on our pin box itself, hands free. Nothing. You don't okay. touch it. There's no airbags to blow up or. Uh, nothing of that nature so so is there any kind of along the same lines are there any failure points that would happen with this um typically what can happen is that um, people buy the wrong size pin box and it's not necessarily failure yeah. it's just not the right size the for right their, application the application yeah. for their yeah. for the fifth wheel okay but the thing is we're going to take care of your you know our customers um or your friends yeah and if they have the wrong pin box we'll either exchange it for a, a bigger or a smaller one which one whichever one we decide that they need okay or if they're completely just done with gen y yeah we'll reimburse them 100 percent for the pin box wow we do take care of our, wow. our customers so yeah. to avoid that though for anybody watching is the best route just to call in yes give the specs 100%. of their unit and 100 you can almost guarantee that call, it'll be the right thing yep call angela or ashley okay. or even thomas those three are an inside sales team and they take care of our customers and they'll talk through um, what size they need um, and, and just really find out what their issue is okay but that's typically the failing point outside of that we haven't we just haven't had any complaints uh, people love freeing their bed, getting a better quality ride, yeah. um, increasing miles per gallon. Yeah, I mean, who's, yeah. especially right now, <laughs> diesel. Exactly. Who's gonna Five bucks not a gallon. like that. Yeah. So, Sean, I was really curious. Um, as this, By the way, this is really cool. You guys came out, and you and Christina and the dogs. That's awesome. Um, but it, I'm curious, what led you to, how did you find Gen Y? What made you um, look at us uh, to be a provider for your pin box on the Torsion Flex and, you know, the fifth of Goose to free up yeah. your bed? Kind of how can you tell me a little bit how you got here? Yeah, it's a really good question. I think curiosity got yeah. the best of me. Yeah. Um, as we've traveled, we've seen more and more gooseneck setups, mm -hmm. and so I've done a little bit of research, just figuring out like a why would people do that? Mm -hmm. uh, B why did an RV start with the fifth wheel versus a gooseneck? Because you see all these horse trailers, and yep. you know they have a lot of weight to them, and they're Absolutely. all using a gooseneck, gooseneck setup. Ball. So this, you know, I would say mainly curiosity, mm -hmm. and then I've seen a ton of them out in the wild compared to the Anderson setup, I've mm -hmm. seen more Gen Y increasingly, especially that's, over the last that's year. That's good news. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think, you know, that then led me to why. Right. And starting to ask that question, mm -hmm. which is one of the questions that I ask you back is why are people choosing Gen Y? Like what, and let me say another thing too, that is important to us, at least with this RV being new, we full time in it. Uh -huh. And we need to make sure that we're protecting our investment sure. both from the stuff that we do on the inside to make sure that you know stuff's not flying around when yep. we're driving and what's the saying that matt always likes to use that it's like uh going through an earthquake during a hurricane yeah is what happens inside of these so yep. just curious to hear your feedback on that yeah so that's definitely um i would say that with the gen y pin box which is called the executive that's the name of the pin box called the executive what a lot of people are led to look at first is our fifth the goose which frees okay. up the bed space but then the the other thing is, is like I said, the torsion flex technology it gives you more comfortable ride. So um, it does it does flex in our. So basically, if you think about what you just asked and all the things that are inside your RV, yeah. um, instead of steel on steel connection connection point, now the flex and rather than on the frame itself, mm -hmm. the flex is actually happening in our torsion flex system. So you're going to have I, we believe there's less stress on the frame mm -hmm. and because of our torsion flex, 
person flex technology, if I can say it right. Um, so that's really where where it's at is is people want to free up their bed, yeah, and then a more comfortable ride. And we, you know, something we don't talk uh, as much about, but we know is is a case, is that you're actually protecting the assets in the in your camper or any other trailer yeah. you're towing. Yeah. So it's not bumping around back as much. Right. Um, if, if you have time, I, I can tell you a real quick story about a um, dealer in Canada. Had a horse, he's a horse trailer dealer. And it was a horse trailer with the, the gooseneck, our yeah. goose, Torsion Flex gooseneck yeah. coupler. And he had two water bottles on his countertop. Okay. And he was towing from point A to point B and it was like a couple hours. And when he got to point B, he stopped, went back in his horse trailer, it had living quarters. And the one water bottle was still standing up on the countertop, the other one was laying down. So That's that tells you what it does in the back of your, yeah. in your trailer as well. A huge thank you to Jason and Donna at Gen Y for taking the time to install this for us and also to just explain things. And that was the biggest question that we had coming in um, was why are people picking this and why specifically the gooseneck setup? And so it's now been two months and over 2,000 miles that we've driven on this. So we are well past the break-in period. Um, we've experienced what that break-in period is like, which just so you know, it's a little bit of chucking back and forth um, over that thousand miles, but it's kind of cool because you can literally feel it uh, smoothing out as you're going through that period too. Uh, but all in all, we're gonna tow some more with this and we're gonna do another video that'll probably be about a 10,000 mile review. Uh, but here's the thing that I'm gonna say right now, for sure is we 150% would do this all over again because the gooseneck conversion, just having that bed free is absolutely incredible. Uh, and then secondly, once this does get through that break-in period, the ride is incredibly smooth. And it is honestly unlike anything that we've towed and are extremely excited to keep towing with this. One other thing I wanted to point out was you can actually get a coupler lock for these too and it's custom made by Gen Y. It fits this perfectly. Uh, if you have the auto latch, there's one that's specific for that, so make sure you check. Um, but it's, I mean, this is as beefy as it gets and this thing ain't coming off, so. We're really, really grateful for that as well. We wanna answer any questions that we can though, cause we had a lot going through this process. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, we'll be happy to get back to you on this. And ultimately, this thing is a beast. So we highly, highly recommend it.